Crepe myrtles are real easy to grow. They're native to the southeastern United States and they do excellent in Florida ground especially. Now, crepe myrtles uh, come in various forms and sizes. A lot of people ask me, say, I want a crepe myrtle tree as opposed to a crepe myrtle bush. Well, they, they really are the same. It's just how you've trained them from being a baby. Behind me here, you see some that's got single trunks. Well, those are tree form or standard as a lot of the industry calls it. You also see the different colors, all right? The whites and the lavenders and the red that's over my shoulder are native colors. In other words, they're true colors that the Lord uh, uh, came about with. Others are hybrids. They're back in the background is a deeper purple and they're deeper reds and there's uh, some uh, small whites. Those are all hybrids. But your basic crepe myrtle can't be anything prettier than that. And how do you grow it? Put it in the ground, get a little fertilizer on it uh, to begin with so you don't burn the roots and then leave it run. Uh, it'll just grow and grow and grow. I've known people to never put a bit of fertilizer on their crepe myrtle after a couple of years and it survives just fine. One thing you do want, a little, little tip, is when the bloom stops, in other words, all of the bloom has fallen off, don't let that bloom uh, that seed pod form clip right behind where it was um, uh, the bloom and you'll get new bloom real quick otherwise the tree will set and spend the energy making uh, seed when you're not really wanting to make seed you want to make more pretty flowers so clip that off and it'll uh, reflower a whole lot quicker again they come in a lot of different colors I like the white and the lavender because they grow fast and they bloom a long time and you never have any trouble with them Rokaz.